Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peer of the Ghani, I am in front of you once again uh, with the same topic, uh, the topic narration, uh, which I explained in my first lecture. So today I am going to deliver the second part of this lecture, uh, narration. I hope you must have understood the first uh, lecture. Uh, it is only then you can uh, have some help, you can get some help from this part. So let us have a recap of what we have done so far. This is point number one, what is narration? My dears, I told you in detail what is narration, what is direct and indirect speech. The second point which I explained that is parts of direct speech sentence. Uh, you must now be knowing fully well that this uh, direct speech sentence has some parts, and what are they? I explained it. Another point I told you that is the rule number one. The rule number one, I may uh, remind you of uh, this rule number one once again. Rule number one was if the reporting verb is in past tense, all the tenses in the reported speech are changed in a certain manner. And what was the manner? I explained it. Uh, all the manner in uh, detail. So we are practicing it. We are shortly going to practice it in this uh, lecture. Another point the reporting clause or verb reported clause or speech. These are the main two, uh, two main uh, parts of a, report, of a direct speech sentence. I explained these points also. Changes to be made. Now you know while changing a direct speech into an, into an indirect one, certain changes are to be made. Uh, what are the changes? I have already explained it. Now let's uh, practice it today. Uh, let's practice it on rule number one. Rule number one, once again I am reminding you, it is if the verb, reporting verb is in past tense, the tenses of the reported speech are changed in a certain manner. Uh, what was the manner? I have already explained it. So let the sentence in a reported speech be an assertive sentence, statement, or an assertion. When the reported speech is an assertive sentence, the conjunction that is used to join the reporting clause with the reported clause. Reporting verb or reported speech ko milane ke liye, indirect milane ke liye, we need a special conjunction and that is that. If that conjunction hum ko introduce karni parti hai, if the reported speech is an assertive sentence. Ab hum karenge direct speech or indirect speech, isi rule ke tahat, rule number one ke tahat or assertive sentence ke umbrella tale, hum in kuch sentences ko Practice carrying or seeking how can we change a direct speech sentence into an indirect one. Now the first example is he said, I work in a private school. He said, you know, it is the reporting verb or reporting class. And I work in a private school, it is the reported speech or reported class. Now as you know, this I work in this private school, it is an assertive sentence. So, as far as assertive sentences are concerned, we have to introduce, we have to introduce a special conjunction, and that is this conjunction that we have to introduce a or said, said does not undergo any change, it will remain there. Because, agar said, ke baad to koi subject ho, yani koi object ho iske baad, he said to me, he said to him, he said to her, he said to his father, etc. So to father, to me, etc. So it becomes an object. Then we have to change this word said. We have to replace it by some other word. Shortly we are going to see uh, to which word it can be changed in. Now, he said, I work in a private school. He said, 
उसने कहा कि मैं उसको एक प्राइवेट स्कूल में काम कर रहा उसने कहा मैं एक प्राइवेट स्कूल में काम करता हूँ हमें इंडायरेक्ट मिलाना क्या है इस तरह ही सेट दैट ही वर्क इन ए प्राइवेट स्कूल उसने कहा कि वो एक प्राइवेट स्कूल में काम करता था तो हमने यहाँ क्या किया ही सेट अब दीज कामाज ये जो कामाज है दीज कामाज ऑल टू बी एवॉडेड नाउ इन द इंडायरेक्ट स्पीच एंड हियर On that place, we have to write the conjunction. He said, "Because we are going to combine these two collages into one. We are going to change these two collages into a full-fledged sentence. In one sentence, one sentence, one sentence. So that conjunction, we have put. And after that, 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 we have put. आई जो है यही ने कहा सो so, चूंकि ये जो आई सब्जेक्ट है फर्स्ट पर्सन ये एज पर द एज अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्ट रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब जो हमने कल इस पहले पार्ट में समझा था कि आई सब्जेक्ट जो है आई या वही फर्स्ट पर्सन प्रोनाम जो है ये सब्जेक्ट को रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब जो ये है रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब इसका जो सब्जेक्ट है यही इसी के अकॉर्डिंग हमको ये चेंज करना तो आई बनेगा यहाँ ही क्योंकि ये ही ने कहा है मैं तो मैं जो है लफज आई ये रेफर कर इट रेफर्स टू दिस ही सो वी हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस आई बाय ही ही सेड दैट ही डेट के बाद हमें ये सब्जेक्ट लगा दे आई को बना बनाना है ही आई बिकॉज आई रेफर्स टू ही एंड वर्क इज द प्रेजेंट सिंपल आई वर्क इन द प्राइवेट स्कूल इट इज प्रेजेंट सिंपल सो एज पर रूल नंबर वन वी हैव टू चेंज दिस प्रेजेंट सिंपल इन इन इट इज कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग पास्ट टेंस कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग पास्ट इफ इट इज प्रेजेंट सिंपल वी हैव टू चेंज इट इन टू द पास्ट सिंपल सो पास्ट सिंपल इज मेड बाय Uh, by adding ed to this work present simple uh, verb present verb present form of verb work it is second form is present uh, ed so it becomes past simple he worked in a private school in a private school now second second example ki taraf hum jayenge she said ya she ne kaha hai ya negative she said this the reporting class क्या कहा आई डोंट लाइक आई डोंट टॉक टू दिस पुलिस मैन मैं इस पुलिस मैन से बात नहीं करती हूँ अब यहाँ हमने इसी तरह शी सेड कामवाज खत्म करके डेट लगाया डेट कंजेक्शन लगाया हमने आई जो है आई यहाँ फिर आई इस्तेमाल हुआ है और सब्जेक्ट जो है रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब का शी तो आई यहाँ करेगा रेफर शी को सो so, आई को लगान बनाना है शी शी Do not talk banega. Didn't talk or did not talk because it is the second form of second form of do is did. So did not talk to that policeman. This ko banana banaya hamne that. Because these changes hain, yeh me highlight kar raha hu. So do not jo banega do not or don't. Yeh hamne kiya isko didn't. This is the change which we have just made. सो ये चार्जेस और डेट इस्तेमाल करके हम डेट कंजेक्शन इस्तेमाल करके हमने इन दो क्लाजेस को मिलाया ये ये क्लास और ये क्लास तो सेकंड के बाद थर्ड एग्जांपल की तरफ हम आते हैं द गर्ल सेड टू द बॉय या हमने इस्तेमाल किया है ये टू द बॉय या हमने यहाँ किया इस या हमने क्या किया एक और ऑब्जेक्ट लगाया सेट के बाद अब देखो द गर्ल सेट द बॉय को हमने बनाया द गर्ल टोल्ड द बॉय और टोल्ड या टेल इसको कोई टो नहीं लगता है इसके बाद सो गर्ल द गर्ल टोल्ड द बॉय क्या कहा उसने आई नो यू एंड योर फादर गर्ल ने कहा तो सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब इज गर्ल so i will i refer to the girl so it will become she here the girl told the boy that she she knew him and his father knew jo hai it is the second form of no so present simple becomes past simple him and his father ye jo pronouns hai ye humne change kiye to ye jo hai na i am highlighting these uh, pointers which 
uh, highlighting these changes rather. So I, uh, she knew him and his father. Now third, fourth example, next example. You have a guest, said Fatima to Aftar Mia. It is Najib. Now it was the desert is a famous story in 12th class English. Uh, by then I have got the sentence. You have a uh, from that lesson I have got the sentence. You have a guest, said Fatima to Aftar Mia. It is Najib. Fatima is the Fatima said, uh, said to Aftab Mia, this is the reporting clause, the reporting uh, verb. So you have a guest, jo hai. Yeah, we have a reporting verb ko beach mein. So you have a guest, it is Najam. Yeah, this is a reported speech or reported clause. Humko yahan lana hai. See they told Pelicon reporting word. Fatima told after Mia that you have a guest to Jostakia, you to use your object to our part. Honey, already as we have already understood that uh, you jo hai, you as per the object of the reporting word change what I have. Yeah, Fatima subject after Mia object. So after Mia jo hai, you jo yaha istemal hua hai, you, to you after Mia ko refer karta hai. So after Mia is a male person, he uh, is male, so I have used he. You have a guest, he had a guest. Have ko had banaya ke, past simple banaya. Have a guest and it was after, it was Najib. It is Najib jo hai, isko ni, isko was banaya ke, banaya ke, banaya diya. Or this, uh, I mean to say that uh, present simple has been changed into past simple. Now let us go to the next example. This is he said, present continuous. I am studying politics these days. He said that he was am studying ko was studying past continuous banaya. Uh, he was studying politics these days. Those days, these ko there those banaya. So, this is the sentence we Change with the as per the rule. Now, sentence next. My brother has gone to America. Shazja said to her friend, He is studying there. Shazja ne se kaha. My brother has gone to America. He is studying there. Ya humne present perfect laya yaha. Has gone. Or yo dusa sentence hai. Ya humne present continuous laya. So, present Perfect change hoga past perfect me or is studying jo hai present continuous ye change hoga past continuous me. Shaja told her friend that her brother had gone to America as he was studying. Ya hamne as istemal kiya as conjunction ki b or kyunki hamne in do collages ko milaya. Ye jo collages hai hamne inko milaya ek hi me. So as you can use uh, any um, uh, proper conjunction wherever necessary. Now, next example is uh, I have come for the clothes, Chacha John. I shall pay for it. Aftab said. Aftab ne kaha. Chacha John said. Chacha John ja Allah fazhe. It means that Aftab has said something to Chacha John. Now, Aftab told Chacha John that he had come for the clothes and he would pay for it. and or I shall pay for it or I have come for the clothes in So all these three sentences have been combined uh, together into one. Example number next. The gardener said, Master, I have been watering the garden for about two hours. So gardener, gardener ne kaha ya, master se, so gardener told his master that he had been watering the garden for about two hours. Ya hamne watch have been watering, ko present perfect continuous ko hamne change kiya, had been watering, in past perfect. So corresponding tense me hamne isko is change kiya, present perfect continuous ko past perfect me laya. Ab report to speech ko ham layenge. Uh, reporter speech ko hum laayenge past me reporter speech ko hum laayenge past me 
she said to me, he came to my, she came to me yesterday, he was in a hurry. Ya hamne kya kiya? Istemal kya kiya hamne? Reporting verb is in past tense. And a reported tense of the reported speech also past. So reporting verb in past, reported speech, uh, tense of the reported speech also past. So what do we do here? What will happen to this? As per the rule number one, we have to change the past simple into past perfect. Now see, she told me that he had come. He came, ko he had come. He came, had come to her the night earlier. Yesterday, ko the night earlier. Yeah, the night before. Yeah, the previous night. Any one of uh, these you can use. Or Pulsita. He had been in a hurry. He was in a hurry. Was ko hamne pasam ye past simple tha. So ko hamne past perfect milaya. Was in a hurry. He had been in a hurry. The second example, I know my boy is not an idiot. It is his body which is settled. I am sure of that. Yeah, how many sentences put put a lamba The woman said to her husband. The woman made to her husband say. The woman told her husband that she knew. Yeah, how many the woman told her husband that I know. Ko hamne I refers to the woman so. I, uh, as it refers to the woman, so we have used the pronoun she. No ko present, ye present simple tha. Present simple. Isko humne past simple mein lagaya new. Past simple mein. She knew her, that her son was not an idiot. Is not an idiot ko was not an idiot. Ye present mein humne is sentence ko laya hai. Phir ek baal tawa. And that it was on his body which was shattered. Is shattered ko was shattered mein. Now example number next. Past continuous period, but we were playing a cricket match here last Monday, but we lost it, said the captain. The captain said that they had been. Yeah, they go past continuous. Uh, past continuous. It is used. It is changed into past perfect. Had been playing. Had been playing. So was were playing. Had been playing. A cricket match there the previous Monday, but they had lost. Yeah, it's the key. Uh, but we lost it, past simple. We ha they had lost that match. So had past perfect memory. Laya. Another example, she had had a fatal accident last week. She's okay now. The woman said about her friend. The woman said about her friend that she had had a had had means this is the past perfect tells. So past perfect remains unchanged here. Had had a fatal accident the previous week. She is okay now, is okay. Present simple is hamne was. She the woman further said that she and her friend was okay then. So example number next. When there is a confusion between two or more pronouns. So what do we do? We write to avoid confusion. हमने ये she को लिखा, she पता नहीं है, ये कौन है, क्या ये woman है, या वो accident वाली woman है, तो यहाँ हमने she को the woman लिखा, जो reporting direct sentence में, जिसकी जिक्र है woman, तो यहाँ इस she को हमने the woman लिखा, और इस she को यहाँ हमने her friend लिखा, तो ताकि to avoid confusion Another one is example number next. I been working hard. It is I had been working hard. He said to her friend, I had been working hard. Therefore, had been working past perfect and continuous. So, as per rule number one, it is uh, it remains unchanged. So, had been working hard will remain, had been working, working hard. Other changes will take place. She told her friend that she had worked hard. So, my dears, in this short video, it is enough. I am just going to deliver another lecture that will form the part third of the same topic. So, till, till then, Allah Hafiz. Thank you.